Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we have a package from AliExpress and that's right they have uploaded some more clone troopers and I ordered this about a week ago and they're already here and I'm super excited. These are the 501st guys which is Jesse and Hardcase inside here. Uh, just a normal standard package it normally comes in a little bag which has the address on there but again in a nice really firm box no dents or anything on there uh, just all the way from china which is fantastic so we just literally open this up and have a look inside what these guys look like there is a new clone trooper on there i'll put a little picture up here there is a actual apo um, we've had Sar this is sergeant apo and we've got captain apo already um, i didn't decide to get him just purely for the fact that there's no point having him all he has is a different helmet um maybe at one point i might get him but if not i might just pull it and make a little uh, a triangle arrow mark on the original one that i got so in here we have them all wrapped up in the bubble wrap right here and they're all in these polythene bags looking really cool so there's hard case he actually comes with a rotatory cannon as well looking pretty cool and we also have jesse as well looking great so we just pull these guys out really quickly before we go away for their review and put them for their paces as we normally do um, and also at the end of the review i'll start bringing in some of the other 501st troopers how the blue matches up and how these guys look as well next to them so there is jesse looking pretty nice and over this side we have hard case actually i really like the blue looks really really nice on there and uh yeah both looking really cool so going away going to take some pictures and we'll see you in a moment back we've been away we're taking these pictures and obviously as you can see i've gone on a little bit of a trek it was nice weather so i thought why not but boy do these guys photograph really nicely in the sun and um, they look fantastic and aliexpress knocked it right out of the park once again and they just look so cool so we're going to start off with jesse we'll go through all his kind of articulation and his weapons and then we'll go through hard case as well and then we'll bring all the other boys in that you can actually pick up from aliexpress and we can talk about hasbro a little bit as well so i'm just going to move a hard case off the side here because uh you know focusing and whatnot so yeah first of all he comes with his carbine rifle on here looking good exactly the same sort of details that we've had before and looks really nice he holds it in the gun sort of formation really well he can actually bring it right up to aim and whatnot the only thing i would say is that sometimes these grips i feel a little bit too large and it pops out a little bit because these guys are a little bit on the smaller side compared to an official one just by a fraction i'm not saying like they're like massives it's just like a small fraction so i think everything in proportion is a small percentage smaller but i think the gun's the same size so that's why he sort of struggles with his grip so he comes with that gun and it also comes with his dc rifle as well again nice sort of uh, details as we always expect as well and uh, looking exactly the same as the official and it's made of that harder plastic as well so it's not going to warp any time so we take these out and we can actually go through this guy's articulation and with that his head can turn left he can turn right he can look down this far and he can look up this way he can waggle his head a little bit and he's got lower neck movement as well so he's got a bit of personality going on around there arm rotates all around and it comes up to this far as well we've got a beautiful butterfly joint inside there rotation at the elbow and it's on a 90 degree bend uh, with the pinless elbow rotation around at the wrist and it's also on a hinge waist left right we've got a nice bit of sort of movement around on here you can crunch this forward and crunch back that way legs come up this way forward back upper thigh rotation well, upper five rotation there rotation up the lower knee we've got a single knee joint as well and the rocket and the pivot at the ankle so exactly the same as the official clone troopers but this one actually just feels a bit nicer like when i bend the knee it just feels like i, I just 
it wants to bend and I just want to bring that leg up and it just feels natural like it's supposed to move that way so it's not loose but it just feels like it's like movable like it feels he's well oiled um with the actual arms as well uh these are slightly a bit of a harder plastic compared to the official ones so um, they do pinch those bits a little bit more but they don't look like that off color either it's made of the same plastic as the actual figure itself which is pretty cool but what makes this guy stand out from the rest of his brothers and the other clones is obviously his markings as jesse but just look at this as well and the blues match all the other blues from the other 501st troopers that they bring out um, so we've got the insignia there on top of his head, really right in that position, right in the centre there. So, uh, you know, you could actually probably buy this a little bit later on for the Jesse that is inaccurate uh, of the Ark Trooper and then paint this rest up here blue. At least you've got the Phase 2 helmet and stuff on there. Uh, so there is an option there if, you know, that insignia at the top there is probably a little bit harder sort of to paint around if you wanted to get a phase two helmet uh, i do feel like this sort of white lines just underneath this visor here just looks a little bit off maybe i need to fill these in a little a little bit later but the silvering on there got the silver on these parts around here the blue lines are all done as well we've got that kind of imperial gray coming around the back and then we've got these bits that are filled in on blue plus the black part of the helmet there so literally the whole entire helmet is how it should be we've even got the black brow they not even skimped out on that fantastic coming down to the rest of the figure uh, we've got all that kind of sort of like weathering look on the blue strips around it hasn't got anything on his back on the front it's just got the uh, blue line there is slightly uh, should be a small mark down here it kind of looks like a explanation mark sometimes but uh so he's missing this part here um, but that that is all on the side here we've got the right markings around on the belt there's nothing down there but when we come down to his lower legs We've actually got this nice grey which matches the insignia at the top there. So all, all got the scuffs and stuff on there. So they've actually gone to town and actually gave us those extra kind of weathering effects on there. And down to his feet as well, um, we've got the kind of like a, the blue line coming around on the inside there. Uh, and we've also got the chippings and extra bits around on there. So yeah, really, really cool, really nice. And um, another sort of valid trooper to the shelf that is for sure so next up we can have a look at hard case and we'll just go through his accessories and his look but yeah as you can see this guy actually comes with a rotate rotatory cannon the only thing i would say is i i kind of wish that he come with at least a dc carbine as well i mean i've got hundreds but um it would be just nice for these to come with that extra kind of gun if he sort of got this because i think you pay a little bit more for this guy if i'm not wrong um so yeah looking at the actual uh, blaster here um you can see that they've done all the markings we've got the the rivets and the extra bits at the top here probably needs a little bit of paint work maybe painting it up black uh with a few sort of gold accents and other little parts around there because uh i did use the old um 3.75 ones for my gun like my custom clones god get my words out in a minute so yeah looking like pretty cool there um he holds it quite nicely I, I feel like this handle down here is slightly awkward for him it kind of holds it at a weird angle uh, which does then knock out of his hand up here but once you get the little sweet spot um and stuff like that you know just put him in a poised sort of position it's not too bad and if he's just walking along holding it as well it isn't too bad so yeah it is pretty cool there and obviously you can see you can hold it with both hands so we take this out and we can actually actually look at the actual figure itself with his kind of design and at the front of his head there we've got the nice sort of like lines coming over the top of the helmet there really intricate kind of little details around on here no smudging nothing it's just printed on there bish bash bosh done black brow again blue tube strips blue on the back there black and then the black brow as well all done which is pretty cool coming down to his actual chest plate we've got the nice sort of straight lines no color bleed or anything there you've got the weathering on it looks pretty cool the pockets on these uh or the ammo pouches on his belt are painted blue nothing on his sides there but as you can see the actual detail itself carries all the way around from the front to the back and then we've also got the square around on the uh, sort of like back plate as well so really nice looking there coming down to his legs all just plain white and there's no extra markings there but it's brilliant just to have another named clone on the shelf so with that we can actually have a little bit of fun now look let's just put uh let's put hard case here and then with that we can actually bring in 
one of the guys I painted long, long ago, which is our phase one hard case. And then we have Jesse, which can go on this side here. And then a long, long ago, I painted a phase one Jesse as well. So uh, yeah, really cool to have these guys on the shelf. And now we've got these sort of incarnations of them. And then later down the line, we have an echo in his arc troop as well. So we have his complete arc, I guess, and his storyline. Um, but then let's take these guys away. So these are the other figures that you can actually get on AliExpress. So we have a standalone 501st Trooper on there. And just look at the blues, all match, a little bit more. And it's just pretty cool. It's just really nice to have. So we've got these two on this side. He can come over there. I do like this little part here that's sort of painted on the black. I might add these to these. I think it really just adds that little bit of extra detail as well. We also have Apo. Uh, there is another Apo on AliExpress and it's actually got like a little arrow here at the top. Um, but it would just look like a standard 501 Trooper. So I would kind of prefer this look for Apo. Will I get it later down the line? Maybe. Um, but I'm kind of not really too fussed really. I'd rather sort of save my money and get something else if I wanted to. Uh, and then the other one, which is Bo, looks exactly the same as Apo, but he's got his like micro binoculars at the top there. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. And these guys got all their sort of like a Camara and stuff around here and the holsters and etc. And these are all bootleg. <laughs> Can you believe it? Look at this. This is this is bootlegs. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Literally cheaper than. Uh, an official figure and these just look fantastic i mean just look at this guy here with the black brows all painted as well i uh, it's amazing i mean hasbro they've got a, another clone trooper coming out which is apo but i guess it would just end up with this one because they just got the picture of apo from episode three which they just kind of got a random clone so i just think that they're just going to make um remake a clone trooper on a new body and call it the 501st because the archive one didn't sell so i think that's this is all it's going to be it's like they're just playing catch up now for these bootleg guys um so i'm not too sure i mean to be honest clones are getting a little bit washed out because we've got so many different sort of figure things and i don't think black series at the moment are doing bad like they're bringing out quite a lot of bangers but i do feel like the clones have been kind of a little bit side track this year we're supposed to be 20th anniversary and we've hardly got anything coming out so we have gaming greats we even have like the legends kind of like boxes and stuff here and i think maybe down the line that they should bring out just sort of like army of the republic and it just be waves of army of the Rep republic it would just be like a a coruscant guard uh, a 501st guy, a 212, named clones, not named clones, grunts, uh, etc. like that. Just four figures, maybe four a year, maybe, or four every kind of sort of like, I don't know. So we get eight figures overall over the year. And they're just literally repainted clones, what these guys are doing. And that's from Hasbro to catch up. If not, I'm just happy for this AliExpress store to do what they're doing. And hopefully we get some more named ones because we just had Waxer and Boyle as well and they were both fantastic figures. So anyway, I'll bring that to a close. Thank you for joining me on this one. Don't forget to comment down below. You can subscribe and ding that bell. And wherever you are in the world, you can join the channel and it'll cost about 99p or 99 cents. And uh, thank you very much and appreciate it. And until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.